Hello everyone, this is Greg Tastic, and today I just wanted to show off RetroArch playing uh, Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo Entertainment System games on the Mi Box. Um, I wanted to do a series of videos just showing off how well the Mi Box handled each uh, generation of gaming. You know, we'll start at like Nintendo and we'll go up to Genesis, Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64, PlayStation, um, I don't know how much more it will be able to do after that, but it might be able to do PSP games and DS games, and we'll try our best in seeing how that works, but for right now, I'm gonna load up RetroArch, and I just wanted to do, like, two or three games for each video, just so you guys get an idea of uh how well it works so for uh nintendo i have castlevania legend of zelda and mega man uh i'll load up each one and we'll just take a look at how it works um i never played uh nintendo games i don't want to say i never played them when i was little i like um What am I trying to say? When I was little, when I started gaming, it was already like Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis era, era. so I never really played Nintendo games. I did play some, but not a lot. So, like this, like, some of the things like with the, um, I'm trying to point it out, some of the things like with the character, like when he's on that light, I'm trying to... Like, what you see is on the, not the light, but like the candles, or whatever it is. I just accidentally destroyed them, but you see like, he starts glitching with the stuff behind him. I'm not sure if that's the emulator or, uh, just Nintendo. I'd imagine, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just the limitations of the console back then. I also don't know if you can kill these guys. I honestly never played through Castlevania. Although, playing through it here makes me kind of want to try, but I'm just being honest. So I don't know if I could kill those dogs or not, or if I'm just supposed to avoid them. So, uh, you know, handles the game pretty well playing it. There's no input lag or anything like that. Everything, all the bad gameplay is me. It's not the emulator. So I'm going to uh, exit out of this game. I'm going to try to. Ah. I'm using the, uh, what core is it? I'm using the Nestopia UE core. There's different cores for each system. That's the one I'm using. I'd imagine for Nintendo, it wouldn't matter too much what core you use. And you see Legend of Zelda loads up right away. And this is yet another game that I never played when I was little. I just like, I mean, I honestly have never been in any, uh, any Zelda game, although I do want to play it. See, like, the way that guy was, like, flashing with Link, I mean, Link, um, Link, but the sword, it just makes me believe that that's, like, I realize some people may be sitting here like, you're retarded, you don't know anything about the NES, but it seems like this whole, like, weird graphic thing that I would wonder if it was an emulator issue is actually a NES issue. Um, yeah, so... No issues playing again, no input lag at all. Buy something? No, I'm good. <laughs> We're done. Um, I'm gonna load up Mega Man, and we're gonna see some issues with me trying to play this, because I can't even get past the... Well, that... Let me pick someone different, because I think I chose Cut Man, and, like, there are these guys flying at me, and I couldn't even get past... But even without going through the Mega Man, uh... Shit. Even without, like, playing Mega Man, I could say, like pretty well that the emulator, alright, the retro arc as far as like the Nintendo is concerned, there's no issues 
Is this game fucking kidding me? This is why, like, I've never played games like this. If you watch me go play Ninja Senkai, Senki, or whatever it is, like, it's a similar issue, like, I'm not good at these types of games, and they just make it way too hard. Why can't I just kill this guy? Like, for real. And I'm supposed to just jump back? I'm supposed to, like, be that good on, like, the, one of the, the first part of the game? Anyway, the basic point is, minus my terrible skills at some of these games, they play very well. There's no issues with them. If you were looking at this box for like, uh, for, let me put it this way. Let me get straight to the point. The NES Classic is, what is it? What's the MSRP? Uh, $60? Or is it higher? I'm not sure. I think it's $60. But it's definitely not lower than 60 and it might be higher. So if you're looking at that as like something small to, play your games with and play be able to play Nintendo games like that's sixty dollars and that only includes you know the games that they include this is seventy it could do other things as we're gonna see and you could get every Nintendo game on there if you want so it's just you know something to consider also you could use any controller you want I'm using an Xbox one controller now not that like you wouldn't want to use the regular Nintendo controller but, you know, I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you're paying for versus what you're getting. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with, uh, some more videos and some more just testing of, like, how the, uh, emulator and the apps work on the Mi Box and seeing how far you could kind of go with it and how much bang for your buck you could get. But, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos because I, I do do Let's Play videos and I would love for people to watch them too. And I play games that I'm um, not as terrible as in this game. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.